Hello everyone, this is Mike. Welcome to my channel, Mike the Tech Savvy. Finally, the moment we've all been waiting for. The S4 has received the first Android Oreo build. Courtesy of the JDC team. They've done an amazing job and they just released this. So here you go, Android 8.0 with the September security patches. I'd like to thank the JDC team for releasing it so early. This is an alpha build, so do not expect full functionality. I'll talk about this in a second. But first, let me take you through the installation, which is a bit more tricky. As always, boot into TWRP recovery via the usual key combination. So volume up. Home button and power key. I have here a GT i9505, so the international version of the S4, but it should work on all i9505 variants. So if you're not sure if your variant is compatible, please do write in the comment section and I will answer you as soon as possible. First of all, you need to have the latest TWRP 3.1.1 Oreo version. So this version I will list in the description section. You will need to download it and install it like this. Go into install, install image and here you go. TWRP Oreo. Select recovery here and swipe to confirm flash. Afterwards, simply reboot into recovery and then you will be back here. Download the ROM zip file and a GFS package, but I'm reluctant in uh, suggesting you to install the GFS package at this point. So download it, but do not install it initially and download the kernel that will work with this Oreo build. Place them all into the internal memory of your device and then proceed with the following steps. Go to wipe, wipe everything except internal storage and the last three, so Dalvik, system, data and cache. Then swipe to wipe, afterwards go to install, select the zip file with the Oreo build and Swipe to confirm flash, flash the kernel as well. And at this point, do not flash any OpenGFS package, otherwise you will get some errors in the setup wizard. For now, just reboot the device into system and you should be good to go. The reboot won't take that much. I was quite surprised by this, so I think for me it was less than five minutes. In total, the waiting time for the first boot, but of course it can take a little bit more depending on the device. We have a really nice boot sound and here you go. The device has booted up. What you see here is the device with the Nano OpenGS package installed as well. So after the first boot, I Powered off the device, I went back into recovery and I flashed the Pico package, which still has some issues as of now. So I flashed this one, the most recent Pico package. So you have the usual apps, the browser, which works surprisingly good. As you can see, it's surprisingly quick. Wi-Fi works perfectly, Bluetooth. Flashlight, yeah, it does work. Rotation, I believe it does work as well. We'll test it right now. Yep, it does. Mobile data, let's check it right now. Yes, works perfectly as well. I quite like this alpha build. A lot of features do work. So as of now, the camera app works only partially photos work but the video recording does not. NFC is currently disabled 
The radio interface layer is partially broken so outgoing calls do not work while incoming calls are received as default apps we have the browser that works just fine i showed it to you earlier we have the calculator which works as well calendar camera which works only partially some more very useful apps such as contacts email gallery which works fine in play store this checking info phase keeps looping s tweaks substratum and synapse for s tweaks and synapse we need root access that we do not have at this point i could have tried to install either super su or magisk but at this point I really believe that what's most important is for the ROM to be fluid. As the ROM will mature, I will do a more thorough review, of course, so stay tuned. I will keep updating you on this Android 8.0 ROM offered by the JDC team. In settings, everything seems to work for now. We have nightlight as well, really nice. The sounds do work and the vibration, no problems with the keyboard or anything else. In my opinion, I really think that this Android O alpha build looks really nice given its state of development and I'm really confident that sooner rather than later we will have a much stable and a real daily driver thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you liked it please do press the like button if you'd like to stay tuned to my channel and watch the development of the oreo builds for the s4 do subscribe by clicking right here in the bottom left part feel free to share your thoughts and questions in the comment section below this was Mike the Tech Savvy, I wish you a great day, bye!